What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dee and I run the travel and lifestyle blog called Desert Carnation. Um, this is my first ever YouTube video and I thought it would be perfect to do an everyday makeup look as my first YouTube video as it is one of the most highly requested topics from you guys on how I do my makeup every day. So if you guys are interested in knowing or learning about how I do my everyday makeup look, then keep on watching. Um, hit the subscribe button below and also give a thumbs up to this video if you like. If you have any questions or any comments regarding um, how I do my makeup every day, um, that I haven't touched upon in the video then please feel free to comment below it and I'll be happy to answer all your questions and let's get right into the video okay so I've gone ahead and already uh, cleansed my face and so the first thing that I do after cleansing my face is use my Smashbox Photo Finish Aura Shield Primer Water so this is what it looks like and so I basically go ahead and just spray that all over my face and tell myself that I'm grounded. I'm grounded. And then I just um, wait for it to dry off, dry off. So after I'm done um, priming my face, then I use um, Tasha's water cream. So I actually got this from Sephora in the pack that it comes with the cleanser and I've honestly been loving both the products. Um, so I'm actually gonna go buy the bigger version of this. But yeah, I've been loving the texture and it just feels so moisturizing on my skin. And it's super hydrating and refreshing. So I just go ahead basically just put that on my face so I feel like it's just all blended now it's time to put those hair back perfect so after that I take my Tula eye cream this is just like all ruined but um I just also like to moisturize my under eyes, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. And then I'm just gonna pat that into place. The next step is to go ahead and put the foundation on. So the one I use is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. So this is the foundation and I use the shade 310 Sun Beige. So then I just take my Beauty Blender and then I basically just put that all over my face. So I just kind of like to take some on the beauty blender and then I'll just go into the specific areas and put it on there so and I really really love this foundation first of all it's drugstore so it's super affordable um, and I just love how you know easy it is to put on so yeah, I just go ahead and basically blend that all in. The other thing I love about this foundation is that it's full coverage, but it feels so light on your face. That is super important to me because I basically do my face every day, so I don't want to feel like I'm a cake face. So the next thing I use is the Lancome um, Camouflage Corrector. So this is what it looks like. 
and I use the shade yellow for under my eyes because it corrects the um, dark circles. So I'm going to go ahead and basically just use a very tiny little pump because a lot of product comes out so just squeeze it like a tiny little bit and just put it on there. And then I use the same beauty blender to blend it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. And you can already kind of like see the difference, like how this one just pops so much more. Like I love this product. This is honestly amazing. If you guys have um, really prominent dark circles, it honestly just makes such a big difference in eliminating it and making it just look a lot more livelier. So the next thing that I use is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I honestly love this thing. It's also a drugstore but it just works so perfectly as you can see I need to get a new tube. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put the product right under my eye and put some on my nose, some on my forehead. And then I'm going to use the same beauty blender to blend it all out. The next thing that I do, um, I actually have three favorite translucent powders, but right now I ran out of one, so I've been using the CoverGirl um, Clean Professional one. So this is also a drugstore, and I love finding dupes from drugstore because honestly, they work almost very similar and are so much cheaper, so why not? But yeah, so I'm basically going to take another beauty blender that I specifically use for this purpose. And I'm just gonna like dab it into the product and I'm gonna go ahead and bake my face. So definitely do not want to go out like this so we're gonna go ahead and basically just swipe it all off um, so I'm just kind of gonna go in this like motion and it's kind of like you're dabbing it into the skin but then you're also just like brushing it off so we're just gonna do that motion here there's gonna be a lot of powder guys so um, be very careful of that as we speak, there's a lot of powder going into my camera. After we're done, 
um, baking the face and rubbing off all the excess. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. So um, I was using the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow um, pencil and or brow dip pencil, whatever it's called. Um, but then I realized that I could just be using an eyeshadow that matches my um, eyebrows. And so what I discovered was the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette has a shade in there called, um, what's it called? Dark Side. And it literally is identical to my eyebrow color. So I just use that. And it's been like a year and it's still there and I've saved so much money. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, okay, I need to be closer to the camera. Or I might just look into here and do it. So now my eyebrows are done. And next thing I'm gonna do is my eyes. So next up I'm gonna use the Modern Renaissance um, eyeshadow palette. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I am gonna go ahead and use the shade Burnt Orange. This one right here. And I'm going to apply it with, um, I got this brush from Morphe and it's the M139. And so I'm gonna go ahead, dab it, and then basically just put it all over my lid and my crease. So then I'm gonna go ahead into the same palette and I'm gonna take the shade Real Gar and I'm gonna just um, go ahead in the outer crease with it. So just like slightly. And then I kinda just like rub off the excess and then I'm gonna blend that in here. So basically just in the corner of the eye. You'll see it kind of just creates that like dark. So then I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, my Morphe brush and I think this is G13. And then I'm gonna go ahead here and take the shade Pre, uh, Primavera or Primavera. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and use that in the um, inner lid of my eyes. So just extend that down um, here. Create that little glowy effect. Last thing I'm gonna do is take the Cypress Umber color in here, which is this one right here. And then I'm gonna take that and just put that in the crease, like directly into the crease. Let's do this a good finish off the look. 
ください。And then using the same Morphe brush that I used initially for the um, orange tones, I'm just going to blend it all in at the crease. So I'm just going to basically blend it. All right, so that is done. Um, I'm just also going to go ahead now and brush off any excess that came down. So the next step will be to put my um, eyeliner. So I just finished doing my eyeliner. This is what it looks like. Next step is my eyelashes. So I have been recently using the Buxom Cosmetics um, mascara and I really like it because I like to have this like full thick um, look and it really helps me achieve that so I usually go through and do like a bunch of like different times like around four or five times so you don't have to go that extreme it really just depends how you like your eye um, lashes to be Perfect. So the next step is to do my contouring. My favorite part. So I use the Kat Von D Shape Plus Light Palette, um, the contour palette, and I'm going to go ahead and contour my um, cheeks first. So because I'm really dark skinned, um, I usually like to go with the darkest shade because I do like that little contrasty look so you don't have to go with it. Um, go with whatever your face, you know goes with. So then what I do is I kind of, I always start off with the edge because you don't want too much product from here because if it doesn't blend in here it's going to look blotchy. So I always start from the edge and then I bring it down. So. So once I'm done doing all of that, then I'm going to contour my nose. So for contouring my nose, I use the Sigma Precision Round P82 brush. And I really like the way that it works to contour. So I usually just go on my edges. And I slowly take the product up. Oh, and for the contour, I use the middle shade. Um, in the Kat Von D palette. So you guys might not like your contour to be this contrasty, but I actually like it. I know it looks like I contoured my nose, but I don't mind that look because I like it. So it's really up to preference again. Um, you could use a lighter shade if you want a lighter effect. Um, it also just depends on how many strokes you're doing and how you're really going about it. 
So as you can see, I'm already going in again a second time. And yeah, so I just kind of go up and then I also go downward on my nose um, to blend that in. You don't have to do that. Some people just like, you know, the one line to be visible, not all the way, but I actually like it all the way. So it's really just preference, I think. So for my blush, I use the MAC um, blush in the color Peachy Keen. Um, so this is the brush, sorry, this is, so this is the blush. And I just use this blush brush from e.l.f. Um, to apply it. And I basically just dab into it and just apply it on my cheeks. It's basically where I contour. Um, I also just apply the brush so even on my nose a little, just so there's like that little glow. So to finish off my look, I'm gonna use Kylie um, Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade uh, Coco K. Um, I've been loving this, so I'm gonna go ahead. And so the last, second last thing that I'm going to do is I actually like to uh, set my makeup first and then I go ahead and put the highlight on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Urban Decay D Slick uh, Makeup Setting Spray. So I'm gonna take my Sephora Pro Blending Brush. This is number 27, I think. And I like to wet the brush um, before I go ahead and highlight. So I'm just gonna wet it. And then I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I like to use the shade Moonstone right here. Um, and then I also mix it up with Summer up here. So I just, I'm gonna go ahead, dab in, and then I'm gonna Use that to highlight. All right, guys. So this is the final look. Um, so you could see. Um, but yeah, so this is just something that I do um, kind of on an everyday basis, but I don't go as crazy with my eye makeup usually on an everyday basis. That just kind of depends like if I have a shoot, then I will go a little crazy, but everything else um, it remains the same. My foundation routine and my contour routine. So yeah, um, it honestly takes me around 20 to 30 minutes um, every day to do this look and it doesn't feel very kicky on my face. Um, it just feels very natural, even though it might not look as natural. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, if you guys want to see more variations of um, eye makeup tutorials or something more in depth that you feel like you kind of didn't really see like the whole process of how I do it, let me know and I'll be happy to do another tutorial for that. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later.